So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Where, she got a leather jacket in between those months? <laughs> Seriously, where did you get the new getup? Oh man, is Max already dead here? Poor Max. Call out. No, let's let's remain quiet. <laughs> oh boy. The fuck? Where's that light coming from? <laughs> um, oh, well, he's turned. Where's that light coming from? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Damn right. <clears throat> Shut up. Name. Compliant Laura can't- ang <laughs> We're gonna lead into it. We love the drama. Eat. Shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? Yeah. I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. Okay, now I'm just gonna be rebellious no matter what. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. This isn't in the Magna Carta. I want a lawyer. Stop! <laughs> I want a lawyer? <laughs> you need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? Yes. A big one. North kill? I want a lawyer. I know my rights! Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Yeah, do you believe in it? Excuse me? Do you have faith in it? Do you pray to it? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. No, seriously. Yeah, start Wait, talking, cop. Do you hate cops just because they're cops? The next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Then start talking. Yeah, let's go angry. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Good, good. Take me to Max! Maybe Break not the help. right uh, time, though, for that. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. That way she can what? see that he's a werewolf and all that stuff. <laughs> he 
he's, he's all uh, smug. Don't, let's not. Let's not lash out. Let's not. Let's go with the flow. Let's see what happens. Let's go. He's fine. Hey, hey you asshole! Want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay. I see that's why I don't want to kill the werewolves, because they're they're fine, fuck. you know, when the full moon's gone. Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. See, he's, he's back to his senses. Laura? He yeah? Why am I naked? See, he doesn't know. What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? It's it's that it's like that one werewolf movie, I think with Hugh Jackman, where he like rips off his skin. Anyways, disappointed. I was hoping you might know Suspicious. He wanted me to confess. Let's go Suspicious here. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? His badge. The punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? As opposed to South yeah. Live? Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. Seriously, Max. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... It's also North Kill. <laughs> Sheriff North Kill of North Kill County. See, I don't think he's all bad. I, I, I don't know. He's just abrasive, rude, and demeaning. Please, just give us a break. But I think he has good intentions. Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? <laughs> oh god. Sarcastic. Don't need your permission. Compliant. Sorry, sir. Now that we know Max is fine, I kind of feel like her character would be like, you know what? He's fine. I thought he was hurt. I mean, definitely something is up with him. But I think now that she knows that Max is safe, she's gonna go compliant. Which might sound like a 180, but I feel like this is something, you know, we want to remain on his good side at this point. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this. Let's go. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. What if it's like a ball of werewolves, like I said last episode? You know, it's like a bunch of them or whatever. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. He's gonna be okay. Hey! Stop struggling. Yeah, chill out. You're, you're gonna be fine. Worry, leave him alone. Stern, calm down. Yeah, we're good. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. Yeah, let's let's find out what's going what on here. What the hell did you do to her? Oh, shut up. <laughs> we're gonna be compliant here. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura. Think. There's got to be something in here you can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let his guard down. We got our we got our fun two cents in, you know, by being uh, abrasive. What's on this wall here? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. 
Hmm. This doesn't paint a particularly favorable picture of, Sher- of Sheriff Hackett. Hack Sheriff Hackett? And perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. In arrest, in arrest. Hmm. Hunter prey. What do you think that means, folks? Go ahead and tell me right now. What does it mean? Speak to me. Sis. Also, whose blood is that on her right now? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Lever. Okay. Yeah, we can find one. Maybe we stand on the bed and then break one of the legs on the bed. I don't know. Ooh. Spoon. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna use that for eating. We're not gonna use that as a lever. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. How? How would that ought to do what? That's not enough. You see how they cut that cut away there? Like, how would that yes. be enough? And also, she used the spoon end. Like, she didn't use like the uh, the handle. What was that? What did she find? What did she find? What was in that brick? I totally missed that. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. <laughs> Give me a break. I wonder if he told Max that he's a werewolf. <laughs> You're a werewolf, Max. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Ooh, let's go. Sure. Second you get out. We'll answer your questions. Aggressive. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! We love you! <laughs> Fuck! Son of a binky bucky. Serious, are you okay, playful? How'd it go? Uh let's go let's go playful here. Let's lighten his mood. He's Max is in a tough place right now. He's also a werewolf, so doubly sucks for him. More than likely doesn't survive this. Um, so, you know, they're together, they're, they love each other, I think they said they were gonna get married, I don't know, but she's gonna make his last, I don't know, 20 minutes of life as best as it can be by throwing some jokes around. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but... I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade chem. Oh. Really though? What happened? He spanked me for my crimes. He uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. All right, can't deduce much from that. I mean, we can as an audience, but perhaps she can't. What did she find in that freaking brick? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? <sighs> As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Of the Hackett family who can hack it till you make it? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? 
Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's, I mean. A cabal of werewolves. What? Some kind of set of reflective. Yeah, he's not acting like a kidnapper though. That's one thing. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. More than likely, he isn't even a cop. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Look, we asked for a lawyer. We're gonna get our lawyer. So hopeful about that. <laughs> this isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! What? Lead a whole life in a jail cell? No internet? Think about the rest of the summer, Max. Yeah, think about the summer, and Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Oh, thank you for your service. I'm okay, I know what she means. I know what she means. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... Gonna... Um... What? Do nothing. You I'm have no what? life ambitions. You are a werewolf. I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. <laughs> Why are you like- You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Oh, come on. Not everything's about you. <laughs> I, I was embarrassed. It happens. Your grades were good, and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. No, those personal personal statements are rough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Wait, what? Hey, don't turn that on him, dude. Personal statements suck. Getting into colleges, getting into colleges are hard. I'm not speaking from experience. Be sympathetic here. I don't know if you can be empathetic. I don't know if you've been in that situation. What's the sarcastic? Maybe, sorry, I lied to you. No, we're not making it about you, uh, Laura. We want to root for somebody, okay? Because Abigail's gone. We're still rooting for Caitlyn because, you know, kinfolk. This is a joke, right? No, 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 no. This is not gonna work. We're still rooting for Dylan and Ryan because I just, I stand them and I like the way they interact with one another. Jacob is on my shit list and so is Emma. So we gotta make sure that we're all on board with you, Laura. We're gonna make you relatable. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You know what? I'm gonna be real with you folks. Just a little bit. Gonna be a little bit real. Just because you get rejected to the first school of your choice. Just because you get rejected to the second school of your choice. Just because you get rejected from the third school of your choice doesn't mean you can't go to community college and transfer it's not the end of the road you know even school isn't like for everybody people find their passions and their career paths doing so many different things and you shouldn't just give up because god damn you're special and you mean something okay let's just focus on getting out of here for now great sign me up we need to go over it from the beginning like from when we left home like, from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he's just like, we have to go back from the beginning. And she's, and he's like, he responds, what, like the Big Bang? He's like, too far. Too far, Max. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Or a real American? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... 
I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like nobody else around. Yeah, and you don't know if you're in a police station. You're in a jail cell, certainly. Yeah, that certainly. is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. Do we know I don't Ian? think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Oh, no. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost. We got lost. Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, Yeah, no shit, Max. It happens once a month. Yeah, so? Yeah. Right, so. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, full moon. Yeah. Yeah, what you getting at, big brain? What if, uh... Okay. You've watched way no. too many Supernatural Stop. episodes. I'm just saying, no such thing. You know, maybe no such there's thing. a slight chance it was a werewolf. Get a grip. Get a fucking Are grip. Are you out of your- Oh. Goddamn mine. Okay, we cut. Werewolves? Seriously? What the what, fuck? What do you think it is, Ryan? What, 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 what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens. Are you really this dense? Time hopping Draculas. You just saw you you literally you literally just saw Nick transform. And you're like, I'm not gonna accept any of those answers. I'm going to be weird about it. So dumb. Here, you know what? Laura Laura's got a thing, okay? She's angry, she's been through stuff, she's missing an eye. We're hitting it with this. Ryan, right? <laughs> yeah. Get him. Shut the fuck up. Yes! Yeah, let her finish, man. <laughs> Thank you. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? Thank you. With the thing on the roof? Thank okay, it would you. really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. After what you've just seen. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? <laughs> She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> I love them. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Yeah, Ryan, I don't know why you're the most... Okay, did they just... Oh, hi. Hello there. Did they just not have Brenda Song in the studio for that long for whatever reason? Because, like, she should be the one I would imagine most responsive to this. Like, why is, why is Ryan, shoot, is it Ryan? Yeah, why is Ryan, like, abrasive here? I would imagine someone who talks all about these ghost stories has a thing about, like, supernatural stuff. Like, Caitlyn has been absent from, you know, if this continues with the David Arquette thing as well, it kind of feels like, I don't know. So one of my biggest critiques about Until Dawn was like Hayden Panettiere and Rami Malek were not in it for a lot of it. Um, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be this way for Caitlyn, you know? Anyways. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. 
as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. Hmm, I'd say be careful about that, because if you get out, you know, on the wrong day, being the full moon, then that could be, you know, trouble. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, you would have never made it through the pandemic. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. Well, you keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? <laughs> what can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat yeah, you, and yeah. then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay, let's okay. do it on the next day when it's well, not it a full Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Uh, let's go curious. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. How? Per cheesy? Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. We could do truth or dare. Yeah, let's try. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Exactly right. Why hasn't he killed us? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah, that, yeah. that's a good point. Why aren't we dead yet? Deal. So, alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. No one's ever asked him about He's his day. He's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Hmm, what do we know about him? Okay. You know he's a hacket. You know, we know he likes being a cop. He likes cosplaying, he likes LARPing as a cop. Hey, hey! T-Money! <laughs> T-Money? Can I call you T-Money? Why would you call him T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like, as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? You own the place? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? Stockholm Syndrome. Ever heard of it? I can think of seven. Oh, let's hear them. Round it. Uh, understanding we've been awful skeptical, really? Yeah, let's, let's, we've been, oh, we've been terrible. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Oh, boy. It's not going to work. You think we're just going to be besties, and I'm going to let you walk right out of here. <laughs> not going to happen. Asshole. Matt. <laughs> We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Good, got him. Full moon's in a few days, right? What What then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Then fucking tell us, dude. I'm in it, I love this. This story's fun. Okay, a few days. I said, hmm. take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the fuck away from him! 
No, he's gonna take off the clothes because he doesn't want to reuse or get new clothes. That's why. What, what's happening yeah. here? Okay. Get off of me! Shut up. Shut up. Have a seat. Yeah, she's gonna make him want. She's gonna make ah! her want. Whoa! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. <laughs> Hopefully. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Seriously, I don't know what's don't up with the close. theatrics, but... T, come in. David Arquette? Position. Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Call for help? Oh yeah, let's do it. Are you bad? Nothing. On my way. Over. Does Dave Arquette not know? That was pretty stupid. <laughs> hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Cabal of werewolves. Seriously, though, why won't I attach her to the piping hot pipe? Is it like the ultimate transformation when you can grow hair? Is that is that it? Clinical, tell me what you're feeling. Compassionate? Let's go compassionate. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you alright? I, uh... I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um... What do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck <laughs> next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. Yep, yep. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Interesting, his personality isn't being amplified. So that's Max? interesting. Maybe Nick was just a dick. <laughs> Max? Tell me what's going on! Oh, that is me when I eat a bad sushi. Max! Oh, he took out her eye! Wait! The thing broke. Interesting. Okay. At least she's cut loose now. Oh, I don't know what's up with it. I mean, it, it, the song itself isn't necessarily bad. It just feels out of place. So much for depth perception. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with the being like a. I am playing the alternate music, so I don't know what's supposed to be in place of that. Yeah, that that song takes you out Let's of it. See what that bastard cop's hiding. Also, she's gonna hit me with another copyright claim. <laughs> we knew he was there. Why is she acting like that? <laughs> There you go, just sort of observe, I think, maybe? You know, maybe that hot pipe is what's holding uh, Maxi Boy back. But yeah, let's explore. Yeah, you were just here. Why would you go back to your cell and not explore 
the, uh, the place earlier. See, this is what I don't quite understand. There's some jumps in logic in this game. I don't know if that's because it's taking into account different aspects or different decisions. So sometimes a lot of the scenes can feel a little jumbled. Like for example, she walks back into her cell. Why does she do that? This is a police station. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's funny, we walked right past the exit, not even checking it, just because I want to examine stuff, <laughs> which is... Mama's boy. Where did time go? You're good. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Huh. <laughs> we totally walked past the door. That's something that uh, in real life they would never do. They would try for the exit first. I have a sneaking suspicion though. If we tried for the door, the door would be locked. So it is what it is. But we are in a precinct, it looks like. Yeah, this is a locker room. I thought we were like in some basement or whatever. Ooh. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Yes, you can. I don't know if necessarily we want to use it on him. I know it showed us that in the uh, Oracle, as if that's like a good thing to do, but I don't know. I don't know. July 7th. It's a year after the pandemic? Oh my god, what does that mean? This just saying pandemic in a YouTube video get me that uh, notification. Yep, we hear you, Max. Locked. Figures, and I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Oh, nice. Okay, so I think that is the way to end this the scene is to go back to your cell. The chariot. Uh, the chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer, taking control, relying on determination to make our choices valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as what, safe as we think they are. And it shows two wolves pulling at the cot. Let's go up here first. Damn, Max is not having a good time right now. What are you hiding, Travis? Who? Uh, a letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Oh, a cease and desist letter. So, are you an actual cop? So, this town only has one cop? He's like, this town only needs one cop. Ooh. Hello? Huh? The Hog of Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. I bet you the password is burrito. <laughs> Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. July 7th. Fuck yeah. All right, let's listen to Spotify. Wow, it's two twenty. It's 2021 and he's like using a computer from He's using freaking Windows XP. Hey, this is just, we'll go to shut it down. Can you handle it for me? What? Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of- Sorry, I hate cutting it in here. But an episode of the Supernatural Investigation Podcast. Uh, bizarre yet bonafide. Exploring the mysteries around Hag of Hag. It's glory. 
answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Always when you're getting into the best part. Oh, ghosts, 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 ghosts. <laughs> hmm. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. No, we're not done yet. There's like a million things to look for. A bunch of hikers going missing. Harem scan. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Hmm. Missing cats. Missing dogs. Yeah, the werewolves are eating them. Looks like there's a lot there's like three more or two more interactions that we can go to, leading from those doors. Let's check them out. That's locked. Okay. What's he hiding? Surprised he didn't find anything else in his computer. Okay, that leads back to there. I saw like another A prompt. I guess it's just going back there. It's also locked. And now we will head back to the cell. Done exploring. I don't know if I want to hit him with it though. You know? Because I know that's what it showed us, but is that really the right thing to do? <laughs> oh, yeah, look at- Oh, this is where we would hide it. Got it. Oh, so that's what that brick thing was for. You want to tell me what happened? Don't touch me, dude. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've unfinished business. Not gonna leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Not gonna find anything, bozo. Happy? I wonder how many people some coffee. had the needle pocketed. Didn't think to hide it, but I'm a big brain meta player, so that is why Abigail is still alive, and he didn't find the injection. What's this? An education. Watch. Literally drag in the chair. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. 
You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. Distance learning? You can do distance learning. There's an iPad there, right? You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. <laughs> no. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. What does that mean? Tell all. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? You and me. Mano y mano. Yeah. Let's end it. <laughs> just skip through the most, like, crucial stuff when you can ask why. You're just like, let's do it. What are we doing? No, we're asking why. We're curious. So, how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? Huh? Family is the most important thing in the world. Hmm. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just werewolves now? A cabal of werewolves? Hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well <laughs> with the rope? Or are you the rope in this instant? Yes. Someone's pulling you, okay. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Forget it. Or are you the well? Are you the well? You're the well? You're whole, You're swallowing other hackets? What's happening? What? You're being swallowed? Let's see how smart you really are. Oh, okay. We doing math? I'm terrible at math. What is this? Information. Okay, reading comprehension, all right. Let's do it. Well, what does it mean? Read it. Hmm. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. Okay, okay. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Hmm. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first... When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Take gun? No, no, no. What, let's not be crazy now. Let's finish the poem. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Okay. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. But what are you just leading people to be eaten and, and devoured? Frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? <laughs> I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Well, we don't know who bit him. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. 
Dude, hold on. Oh, that sucks. Abigail is dead. So there is technically a cure, but oh no, poor Abigail. Because <laughs> uh, what if we cure, if we find a way to kill the werewolf that hurt uh, Nick? He's going to be living with that for the rest of his life. Well, you know what? That's what you get when you play sick games and make other people feel inferior by kissing their best friends in front of them. That's like a big like thing that I still can't rack my head around. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe teenagers. Maybe this is me being like a boomer. But uh, maybe teenagers are just like that nowadays. Doubt it. But I guess there's a chance to save Nick. So cool. Cool beans. I just want to cure Max. And that's why she's killing every wolf. It's not as straightforward as you think. Yeah, that's why she's killing every werewolf, because she's trying to figure out which werewolf killed Max. Here's the thing, have you tried asking him? Now, uh, confused, why didn't you kill it? Concerned, am I infected? I, I'm gonna assume that she's not infected, because, I mean, first off, in the future, she's not a werewolf. Um, but yeah, confused, why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I, I was, when I Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. I don't believe you encouraging. Cynical? Hmm, I feel like we should press here. I feel like it'd be a good idea to press. <sighs> Let's press. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. Well, what if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Sci what? Use science. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. <laughs> use science? What do you mean? Accusatory, you're desperate. No, I think he's protecting someone. Why is killing not an option? I think you're protecting someone. Yeah, the same way he, she, I'm protecting Max. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I wonder if he had a bad relationship, if she could have walked out here. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. Hmm. I believe him. Apprehensive. I'm not sure. I wish there was, a, there was a little more to go on with these sentences, because apprehensive, I'm not sure. What does that mean? She believes... I mean, she believes. I mean, she knows what she saw. Apprehensive about what? Let's go. Let's maintain our, our suspicion. I don't want to believe him, but I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Oh, well, speak for yourself. Oh, I think I am pretty well cast. Okay. All right. Way to pat your own back, game well, developers. Fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. What? What? Wait, hold on. I kind of liked where this was heading. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? No, we're good. That's why we have two. That's yeah, pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Resigned. It's not like you're in control. Empath it, it wasn't him. Because here's not, here's the thing now. So, I, I my hypothetical is I suppose confirmed in that it's not their emotions that get ramped. Although Nick seemed to have his emotions change. 
whereas he didn't have his emotions changed, but he was, you know, he had already turned to a werewolf and all that. So it's, it wasn't it wasn't him. It's the animal within him. Or maybe he always had that dog in him. You know what I mean? <laughs>